Hey, Mike Moo here. Today we're checking out the Samsung S23 Ultra frame case. Now they make this for the other Samsung S23. So if you have regular S23 plus ultra regular, they make one for it. There's been some reviews stating how bad this case is. So I really wanted to check it out myself. I think that once you get an idea for what it's like, maybe you can make a better decision for you. This retails for 40 US dollars. I got it here on amazon.com. I have a link down below and I chose the white one. They have a black one, they have a white one. Now the idea with this is it's modular, all right? So as you can see, I got the white one. It has a white backing on it that slips right into this frame case. Just And the idea with it, this is interchangeable. So in the future with other brand collaborations, you can switch out the back of the phone case. And that makes it so that you can show off your favorite brands. You can have different colors that could potentially come out. And you put these two pieces together, slip the phone in, and it actually looks quite nice, I have to say. You can't tell that I actually have the green version of the phone. This gives me a little bit of functionality. It looks very clean. This looks like a leather material, but it doesn't have the smell of leather. It's probably one of those fake things that the synthetic things that they use for really expensive purses. I love how slim the profile is, but you'll see that is also a bit of a negative later on when we take a closer look at the lips, but it does look and feel really nice. And it does feel like a premium device once you have everything put in and installed correctly. And you want to make sure that you do it correctly. Now you have this also clear cover thing in the back. And this is just so you can show off the full on color of your phone. You can see side by side, they're basically cut identically, except that the clear one is just basically clear plastic. Now I didn't take off the protective covering on the plastic sheeting. I just left it alone, but as you can see, it's still super duper clear. Now coming back to the back of the case, you can only stick in one card. Don't try to stick in more than one card because if you do, you're not gonna take it out. That's how slim and tight it is. So really this is just to carry your favorite card. Now I do have another negative about this besides that you can only fit in one card is that there is some sort of mesh material in the back of this. I believe it's to protect your card from being stolen, but I'm not sure. So that makes it so that you can't do NFC payments while the card is inside this slot. It's to protect your card as well as just basically give it some structural protection in the back. So that also means you can't use it on a Qi charger, which is a pretty big negative if you're one of those people who are about wireless charging. And I admit I am a fan of wireless charging in certain circumstances, definitely not for all circumstances. But if you put this protective case thing back with the wallet cover, you're not gonna be able to do it. Now getting it in and out of phone is a little bit more difficult, but that just shows you how tight the tolerances are. And that makes it so that your phone doesn't fall out. Sticking it in is a lot easier than taking it out. And that's something that's a little bit better design. As you can see, putting on the clear plastic backing is relatively simple. It's not too hard to switch it out. And it does look really nice. It does look really crystal clear, but at the same time, that's not where you're getting a frame. If you're getting just the case with the clear backing in the back, there are definitely better, cheaper choices than the Samsung. What you're doing here is getting the flexibility of having at least two different styles right off the bat for 40 US dollars. Okay, so I'm putting back on the white one here and you're gonna wanna be a little bit more careful in doing this. It's easier to just put the backing on first and then putting the frame around and then sliding your phone in there. But I really do like the way this looks. It feels really good as well. Time will tell whether or not this is going to be something that is useful to me. First off, I think not having the Qi wireless charging even if I take a card out is a bit of a negative. And also this white could end up getting dirty pretty quick. I really don't know how I'm gonna feel about that, but as it stands right now, it's not bad. And the prices seems to be appropriate. And we all know the price is gonna drop later as the phone's a little bit further out. Okay, that's it for this video. Oh, one more thing, the protection. There is, since it's so slim, there's not a whole lot of protection on the phone. So this is not going to be military grade drop proof or anything like that. And it's also not going to have super amount of protection for your cameras and stuff. 
So if you're looking for a really, really good protective case, this is not going to be the one for you. This is going to be something that's like an everyday carry, carry only one card, minimal type of situation going on. But it definitely gets an A for style. And also they have some other collaborations coming out. So that's something that it could work out to be a really nice thing for people who like to change it up a bit. All right, that's it for this video. Please give a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next one. Thanks for watching.